Greetings to all of you. In this video, I will explain about the intermodal transportation and multimodal transportation. Firstly, let us understand about the concept of intermodal transportation and multimodal transportation. Both transportation defines as a combination of two or more modes of transportation to move cargo from a shipper in origin to a concern in destination. However, the process of intermodal transportation is handled by several different shipping companies, while multimodal transportation is fully handled by a single carrier only. Thus, multimodal transportation is also known as combined transportation. There are a few of differences between intermodal transportation and multimodal transportation. Let us look at the example first. If you are importing some goods from China all the way to Australia, the goods will be carried by several modes of transportation such as road transport and sea transport. We can see that from the beginning, the shipper in China will transport the cargo to the port by a cargo carrier truck. Then it will be transported by a ship from the port in China to the port in Australia. At the end, the cargo will be moved to the concern in Australia from the port in Australia by a cargo van. In the whole process, the transportation of cargo will involve different modes of transportation. If you want to make contrast with all the transportation services differently, it is called as intermodal transportation. On the other hand, Multimodal transportation only needs to deal with one shipping company which will cover the entire journey of the shipment. Thus, the main difference between intermodal transportation and multimodal transportation is the number of contracts involved. Intermodal transportation will involve more than one contract or bill of lading while multimodal transportation only falls under one contract, even though both transportation involve different modes of transportation. Other than that, intermodal transportation can provide shippers with lower shipping costs. This is because they have the freedom of negotiation with different shipping companies in terms and conditions to get the most cost-effective price. Hence, using a combination of different transport carriers is sometimes better to achieve the best total shipping cost for door-to-door -door movement. However, it requires more logistic coordination and hands-on involvement. On the other hand, multimodal transportation requires less logistic coordination and paperwork as they only have to sign a contract with a shipping company which is known as multimodal bill of lading. Furthermore, multimodal transportation will achieve higher delivery time efficiency as the whole process of shipment will involve one shipping company only. Intermodal transportation usually will take longer time in delivery as the shipment will be handled by different shipping companies in the whole process of shipment. In short, it is prior on cost reduction than delivery speed. In Malaysia, there are some logistic companies using intermodal transportation and multimodal transportation respectively. The example of intermodal transportation companies in Malaysia are Mediterranean Shipping, Inter-Ocean Freight Service, and so on. Besides, there are some multimodal transport operators MOT logistic companies based in Malaysia which provide total logistic solution with door-to-door -door service. They are Century Logistic, Complete Logistic, Freight Management, Harbour Link, Integrated Logistic, Tiongnan Logistic, MISC, and so on. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.